natural disasters cause widespread destruction of life and property. Today, let's discuss about one such natural disaster, cyclones. A cyclone is a storm accompanied by very strong winds at a very high speed and heavy rainfall. They cause tremendous damage to the coastal areas. In India, the coastal areas of West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, coastal Gujarat and Maharashtra are prone to cyclones. Cyclone Hudhud with a speed of 200 km per hour hit India's southeastern coast on 12th of October 2014 and forced thousands to flee their homes in the state of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Orissa. This tropical cyclone caused significant damage to infrastructure, plantations and livestock along the eastern coast. Cyclones cause a lot of destruction. The strong winds during a cyclone can give rise to huge waves in the sea which can flood large parts of the coast. They can also submerge a large part of the coastal area. The strong winds that usually accompany a cyclone can topple electric poles and uproot trees. The strong winds can cause the houses to collapse or even blow away. Non-availability of clean drinking water may cause the spread of epidemics like jaundice, diarrhea and cholera. We can prepare for a cyclone by taking the following steps. Warnings issued through radios and televisions before a cyclone should be carefully listened to. If a cyclone warning is issued, we should not go near the sea. We should move to a safer area. We should keep food and water handy and keep them sealed in waterproof bags to keep them safe. We should keep the phone numbers of hospitals, relatives and friends handy. Before a cyclone strikes an area, the government often calls in the army and other agencies to evacuate people living in it. Relief camps are often set up to provide food, water and shelter to people living displaced by a cyclone. Such camps also have doctors who control the outbreak of diseases. You can also learn about more natural disasters from my other presentations. Thank you.